Hello ambiguity and viewers, um, today is Sunday, and this is Taylor, and this is my bathroom, because I, it has really good lighting, uh, not particularly on my face, but like, it takes quicker time for me to set this whole thing up here. Um, first off, I'd like to apologize for not being able to post the past two weeks. Probably more than that, honestly, by this point. Um, I've had a very hectic past few weeks that I'll talk about in my updates at the end of the video. But, yeah. So, let's start this week's topic. Um, so this week's topic is first gender therapy session. And in my lifetime, I've seen, like, five therapists for five different things. Well, two are the same thing. Um, I battled with depression a lot in my childhood, um, parents divorced, so I bounced around with therapists throughout that period. I haven't found anyone I got comfortable with until I met someone my senior, my freshman year, who I saw partially at the time, and she was really rad. I still see her. Her name is Ashley, and I have an appointment with her next week. We just talk about casual things, like non-gender specific, but my first gender therapy quote-unquote appointment was when I first started at UMass, so I think it was like September of 2014, and my first appointment was okay, um, just casual conversation, but she ended up trying to refer me to someone else so it didn't work, so I ended up with my current therapist who is by my school that I don't see in the summers. Um, my first appointment with her was kind of basic. Getting to know you, um, she gave me a gender workbook type worksheet, kind of, to map out. It's like a gender bread thing that they have on, like, PFLAG website. Gender uniform sometimes. It's, like, very basic, like, how do you... How do you identify? Sorry, heard some noise downstairs. Like, how do you identify what in that whole shebang? And, yeah. So, eventually I started on hormones with her. Well, no. By that point I was already on hormones, just because it was an informed consent thing for me. And then I got my top surgery referral letter from her, a month and a half after I saw her. So that's just the basic of my therapy adventure. Um, I'm really hoping my road doesn't come out right now because, like, I'm sitting in the bathroom of the hallway. Uh, but he's downstairs. I'm all good. Um, back to so some life updates. I am officially 18 days post op, which is really interesting. Top surgery post op with Dr. Parikh in Springfield. Um, I don't know many people who have gone to see him, but I would definitely recommend, like, I'm gonna just show my scars a little bit, just show how healing is, so, like, y'all can skip through this, it's gonna be, like, a five second, like, flip up, show, flip down, so, like, these are what I got going here, like, the scar goes right through the nipple, but the nipple's, like, a graft, so I have a band-aid on it, well, it heals, okay, um, yeah, but everything's healing really well. I am very happy with the results. It's interesting because I haven't seen my results where it's positioned that way, but I'm very happy because he told me that if it had to be... I have the worst hiccups, I'm so sorry. Um, if it had to be pulled down, it would have like looked really bad, and he wanted to form packs on me, which was really nice, and I'm happy with everything. And I haven't really made an update on that yet, so I'll do a one-month post-op on the first. Um, other things, I conquered Warped Tour this past Tuesday, and doing a post-op was very interesting. The last time I went to work was before I even transitioned socially, so, like, that was kind of, like, a big, huge step for me. Um, I also, I've been doing conferences again, speaking on panels and such, so it's been really busy, hectic. I was on the Cape this week for a conference in, like... Y'all know Massachusetts, like, I was on, in Cape Cod, which is, like, the elbow type thing. Like, I was, like, right here on the elbow, right by the armpit. <laughs> um, but I'm going camping on Monday with a bunch of my friends, which is awesome. And we're all queer, so it's a big gay vacation. 
and we're all stoked for that. I am. I'm stoked. I'm just the dad that everyone brought along. Um, and lastly, oh wait, I'm like eight and a half months on tea at this point. Almost nine months on tea on the 27th, which is awesome. And lastly, I wrote a little article, well, a little blurb narrative of the sort. Elliot has mentioned this in his video a while back, saying he did the same, but I submitted a blurb on a narrative I wrote to the New York Times story wall for Transgender Today, and it did get posted. And if y'all know me on Facebook or Tumblr, like, I've been talking a lot about it, so I'll put the link below. I'm super stoked that I got it up there, and it's awesome. I'm very proud. Um, but I'm just gonna wrap this up video now. Have a great week. I will see you next Sunday. I hope on ambiguity. Cool. Bye